This is a tutorial for Illustrator and the use of the Symbol Sprayer tool. Now, this is on a PC, but it could be on a Mac. Also, it could be for CS4, CS3, etc. Same basic approach. Right, Symbols can be found in the Window menu. So, Window menu, go down here, Symbols. Now, Symbols are vector designs. They can be any size. Actually, they also can be any sort of type of design. So, they could be text or uh, image. Uh, they could be anything. Well, the ones I'm going to be using in this are from graphicextras.com, an embellishment pack, 74 it's called. But uh, of course you can find many other symbols on the web. So right, I'm just going to go show you the library. You can actually open the library via the right side menu. So you can go open symbol library, get all the ones that come with Illustrator. But you can also use the other library command and you can go and then add additional symbols. Just going to select one of the symbols and then I'm going to go over the symbol sprayer tool. <clears throat> right, I'm just going to apply that so it can be just used as a single paintbrush. So you just apply it like that, just flow, single flow. Of course, you can just do it a little bit and then do another bit down there if you wish. So you don't have to have them all. As soon as you do it, actually, they're all selected, all the symbols that are created, whether you do it in the first or second or third. Right, also, you can apply them as dabs. So you just, just click like that, do that. You can then, once you've actually applied them, you can actually go to the symbol tool and you can then go to the various other options. You can shift symbols, you can size, rotate them, stain them, and so on and so on. Right, so I'm just going to quickly do show you the sizer. Just quickly resize, so you can just basically pass the, just click and then just resize just get rid of that now next thing you can do also if if you if you decide change your mind you say you want another symbol so there's a symbol here is a red symbol and you think oh, i want that instead just select that symbol and then go to the right side menu and replace symbol now as long as you've got those selected it will then replace all those symbols you can go and do that change it to another one so replace symbols just change that of course, you can also edit the symbol. The easiest way is actually just to drag it out from the document. Back to edit the symbol definition. And then you can, say, resize it. So you can change the symbol. Come out of there. And the symbol is changed in the symbols palette. So you don't even have to keep the uh, same design as you had before. Right.